Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're, we're, this is Labor Day weekend. I'm sorry. This is Memorial Day weekend. It's one of those weekends. It's, it's one of those holidays. Take your pick. But specifically, no, it's Memorial Day. Are you sure? I'm positive. Because this weekend is also Dragon Con weekend. And Dragon Con weekend always falls on Memorial I Day. Mean, I think it's... It may be Veterans Day. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't confuse me enough uh, as it, it is. The Labor Day or Veterans Day or Memorial Day. Which one? It's is? Memorial Day. Okay. And it's Memorial Day. I mean, it's Memorial Day weekend, which means it's Dragon Con weekend. So if you're in the Atlanta area and you're at Dragon Con, you're probably out there getting your nerd on. Mm, or other events that are going on. Yes. You know, it's not always about Dragon Con. No, it's not. There are lots of other things that usually go on this weekend. But also, too, one of those things is barbecuing. And you know what I like to drink with barbecue? Everything. Yes. But beer is one of those things. It is. So, we're going to take a look at a beer that we ran across while we were in the liquor store. Mm -hmm. And it's appropriately themed for Dragon Con. It, 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 it hits all the marks. So first off, it's a beer. Mm -hmm. It's Cherry Street Brewing coming out of Cumming, Georgia. Mm -hmm. So it's coming from Georgia. It's mm -hmm. local. You know, on this Memorial Weekend mm -hmm. with Dragon Con going on. And you know what we like to do when we talk about new items. We like to promote the stuff that is Logo to Atlanta exactly. slash Georgia or Black on exactly. So this is called Imperial Cherry Limeade Number Two, and if and one of the other reasons we picked it, being as it's Dragon Con weekend, check out the can art. Mm -hmm. We got uh, a cherry and a lime, and they're dressed up like Batman and Robin. What better beer to drink? For Dragon Con weekend. Bad guys beware. There are two new crime fighting vigilantes in town. Yeah. Um, I guess the cherry is Batman. Although, I don't know. You would think with red on, the cherry would be Robin. Yeah. They're, they're all sporting Robin's color. Yeah. Traditionally. Yeah. If you know but the character. I'll allow it. I won't nerd out this much. But... We're going to uh, take... also say this too. Cherry lime aid is kind of a staple for barbecues and the like. Yeah, hit all the mark. We hit all the mark. So we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, can reading, and then we're gonna taste this, and we're gonna see if they hit the mark or if they missed. I have a feeling they hit it though. Okay, Cherry Street Brewing. Yeah, you read the bad guys everywhere. Uh, keep cold, drink fresh. Profile, addition, sweet cherries, tart cherries, and key lime. So the flavors are tart, sweet, and pow. Whatever that means. <laughs> Proudly brewed in Cumming, Georgia. Brewed by Tanner's Vickery LLC. Double fruited issue. Love your planet, like your beer. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a taste. Let me get that that paper towel. In this too. I like to uh, wipe off my cans before I open them and drink them. This is just me. Maybe I'm over here. Mm, smells good. Mm -hmm. it smells good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. I'm not getting much limeade, but I love that cherry taste. I'm getting cherries. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the sour mm -hmm. that you would expect from a sour esque beer. Mm -hmm. It's not cherry limeade per se, it's an imperial fruited uh, Berliner Weiss. But, it's, but it's still very good nonetheless. If you're a fan, if you're a fan of that type of beer, this is up your alley. Mm -hmm. 
I really like this. I'm, we made it. We made the right choice. Ironically. Ooh, excuse me. Ironically. Could this work in a shandy? Um maybe, but at this at that point you're probably overdoing it with yeah. the with the citrus. Mm-hmm. But you know what I would do? I would add some, this is gonna sound weird, I would add some, uh, uh, maraschino liqueur. Ooh. Yeah, that would be cool. Like a touch of that in there to mm -hmm. pull that cherry flavor forward a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That would be But we good. don't have any lemonade, so we can't do that. Yeah. Oh well. Um, do you think this is a cool drink to drink during Dragon Con? Of course. Like it's one of those. It's one of. It's one of those uh, commodities that you should be seeing at events like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna say this in regards to the Dragon Con and whatnot. Dragon Con's not the only like nerd con out there in Atlanta. I would say it's one of the big three, three two, three. But it, uh, but it is the biggest convention. Yeah, it is the people. biggest one. And then you have Momocon and AWA. Anime Weekend yeah. Atlanta, aka AWA. Mm -hmm. You should see this at Dragon Con. Yes. As a matter of fact, I feel like this should be promoted more around the time that DragonCon is happening. I feel like this will get a lot of attention mm -hmm. at that particular event. Mm -hmm. I recommend it mm -hmm. because what I say is gospel. <laughs> <laughs> and in this case, really good. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if when we go down there, we see this particular beer mm -hmm. um and yeah that's a that's something else that i mean we weren't really saving this this wasn't a surprise or whatever but we're we're gonna we're gonna check out dragon con this weekend see yeah. what's going on um that will be our next episode actually i know it will be after dragon con but on our wednesday episode that will be our dragon con episode we're gonna so you guys can check out if you've never been to dragon con if you've never been to atlanta I will say this, for those who have not visited Atlanta, if you roll in those circles, then visiting around the time that Dragon's Con takes place, or even Momocon or AWA, mm -hmm. you can get a taste of what you can experience there. Mm -hmm. Now, Let's keep in mind that there are certain things in the world going on that has restricted Dragon Con from being 100% what it has been mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. But the spirit is still there. If you're, if you're into nerd stuff and you like to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time, I, I. <laughs> then Dragon Con is the place that you want to be at because it's nothing but a perpetual party right that entire weekend right it does not stop um but if you're coming down for Dragon Con this weekend and you're watching this you better mask the yeah. fuck up and bring your 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 COVID card yeah your, because yeah, your, your vaccination, vaccination card mm -hmm. because they're doing that there and if you don't want to get vaxxed you don't want to bring that car that's cool uh you can take that covid test mm -hmm. don't come and ruin this convention for other people who have taken the precautions and who are being responsible mm -hmm. just period yeah and, and i'm not yeah. arguing over that <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not arguing over that stay the fuck home if you don't want to vax or if you don't want to wear a mask that's 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 just the long and short. They're, they're going to be enforcing it, and they're just acting super serious about it because they didn't get to do it last year. Exactly. So they're exactly. so they're really up. So they 
they want to make this work this mm-hmm. year. So there, and there may be some fights that happen exactly. this weekend over this. So stay fun. home. If you, if you, you don't want to wear, a you mask. don't want to wear a mask or back, stay home. Mm-hmm. But while you're at home, drink this because yeah, this tastes it, delicious. Yeah, this shit is delicious. <laughs> Are we done here? Yeah, we're done. All right. Well, with that said, that'll do it for this episode of Drink. Oh, wait. Stop. We have to rate this beer. Nine out of ten. Same. I could drink this all the time. Yeah. Great summer beer. Mm-hmm. Great barbecuing beer. Mm-hmm. You know, like. I- and it's that. And it's that summer. It's that type of good summer beer that's end of the summer beer. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, like it's right perfect. up there at the end. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's out at the right time. Where like it's cool out but still sunny. Mm-hmm. So like you're so like if you if you're outside for a prolonged period of time mm-hmm. in the sun, like you'll still get hot but like there's a a fresh breeze that's constant exactly that's constantly there and it has a taste where if you aren't a beer drinker and you want to drink something beer like because this 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 doesn't this is this isn't like your buzz or your exactly. Miller Lights and stuff but at, like but that but at the same time it's a level up from from like uh, uh, like, what do you call them? I don't want to call them wine coolers, but you know, like, like white cloth. And yeah, things. yeah. <laughs> Please don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do an episode about truly and white cloth one day. Yeah. And if you like truly and white cloth, don't watch that episode. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's a leap above though. Yeah. <laughs> And we won't have truly and white claws on this. As a matter of fact, we're probably just gonna curse out truly them. I don't want to spoil the episode, yeah. but we're gonna do it. But I yeah, mean, I mean, you pretty you, much have because you fuck truly and white claw. But <laughs> <laughs> we will do an episode about truly and white claw. We we gotta. I, I have I have something to say. We gotta. But with that said and done, like if you if you want to drink a beer that does not taste like traditional beer, but it's a step up from from like ciders and stuff like that, or just in general, if you if you are a beer drinker but you lean towards sour ales and stuff exactly. like that, this is this is the, the one you want to go. Yeah, for. this is a perfect example of something you would want to try. Nine out of ten, very good. Um. I'm very, cause I had never heard of uh, Cherry Street Brewing, and it's right out of coming. Um, I'm very interested to try more products from these guys. Me too. Cause this is really good. But with that said and done, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. If there is a liqueur, spirit, wine, beer (laughs) that you think, you know, we would appreciate or like and it's something that's obscure, not many people know about or we can't get access to it, let us know about it. That also includes snacks, brunch items, desserts, you know, recipes Mm -hmm. for said snacks and stuff like that and cocktail recipes Mm -hmm. let us know about it Mm -hmm. locations also fall in this category if there are distilleries breweries restaurants bars speakeasies food trucks anything that you think we might enjoy maybe they serve your favorite drink maybe they serve your favorite food and you think it's the best Let us know about it. Let us know where it is. We'll go there because we want to be the judge of that. We want to to make sure that what you're saying is facts. Also, too, as an aside, like I mentioned before, we will be at Dragon Con. Mm -hmm. We'll be there on Sunday. Mm -hmm. If you're seeing this at the time that it comes out, which is Saturday, we will be there the next day. Mm -hmm. Try to find us. If you find us, let's have a drink. Yeah. Like pull us aside, pull us aside, and be like, "Hey, we're gonna have a drink. Let's go have a drink." Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Now, like 50 people don't come up and all want to drink with us. Yeah. yeah. I'm not trying to die. <laughs> I got back for a reason. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to die. So, if 50 people come up at the same time, then we're all going to drink one drink together. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? But, yeah, like, if you see us, you know, say hello. Mm -hmm. Let's let's drink together, mm -hmm. or let's let's have a snack together, something. Mm -hmm. But that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales, and until next time, everyone, peace.